Hey guys, welcome back to Code Fights, the arcade section, and we're going to be taking a look at Adjacent Elements products. So if we take a look at the description, it says that given an array of integers, find the pair of adjacent, in English that means next to or touching elements, that has the largest product and return that product. And for the example, we have an array and then the output should be 21. And then it also says that the number seven and three produce that largest product. So if we go back and look at that array, uh, and given the information that we just took in, uh, what we would have to do is loop through this array, and then for each iteration, we would compare it to the, we would multiply it to the one right next to it. So in this case, three and six, multiply those two, that would be 18 and then we would consider that as our highest number. And then we go on to the next iteration, six and negative two, multiply the, those two together, and then compare it to our highest number. And then we will keep going through that array and keep comparing and comparing until we get our official highest number, which in this case would be seven and three. And, you know, output would be 21. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, First thing we would do is we would declare a variable called, let's do highest num. So var highest num, and then we would equal that to um, input array zero multiplied by inputs array one. So there's that out of the way. Next thing we're going to want to do is loop through the array because we want to compare, um, you know, each of the two elements, I guess, to the current highest number. And then we want to keep updating that until we get our, um, you know, confirmed highest number. So we're going to create a for loop. And we're going to start it off at one. So var, variable var i equals one, and then every time i is less than input array dot length, we increment i by one. So within this, what we're gonna do is we are going to target highest, the highest number of variable and we're gonna to wanna to change that value. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, use a built-in function called math.max. And what math.max does is it takes in uh, any amount of parameters, in this case we're doing two, and it's gonna compare those parameters and then return the highest number which is convenient in our case. So we're gonna use two parameters. In this case, um, our first parameter is gonna be highest number. So our current highest number, in this case, it's going to be 18 if we t t um, you know, use the example array. So that would be three and six, and um, three multiplied by six would be 18. And then after that, our second parameter would will be inputs array i, so the current index, whoops, not one, i, multiplied by inputs array i minus one. And i minus one would be the one right next to it, so the one right behind the current index, since we're starting at one. So in this case, we, we're starting at six, we're not starting at three, we're starting at six, and then i minus one would be three. And then for the second iteration, it'd be, um, you know, i would be two, a negative two, and then uh, i minus one would be six. And then it'll keep going on and on and on. So what we're doing is we're comparing, we're not comparing those two numbers. We are multiplying those two numbers, and then we're comparing the outcome of that number to the current quote unquote highest number the highest number that we have logged into our variable, and then we get the highest number, we, we get the highest of those two integers, and then 
the highest number of variable will, we will get updated with that number. And it'll keep going on and on and on until that array ends. So after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return highest num. And that would just return our uh, variable, uh, our, um, that will return our index and that should end it. That should be everything. So if we run our tests, all tests pass and then click submit, uh, and everything should be correct, hopefully. There we go. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next.